Hello everybody, it is Vicki Ross and I'm here today with January 21, Robin McClendon's printables and they are grand this month. So we are going to start on that now in a few minutes. This is a live production so anybody that comes in late you can always go back and catch the replay. YouTube takes a couple hours to process. <clears throat> but it will be there tonight and you can watch it skip full skip past the howdy do's and the how are you's and all that um my uh chat stream seems to be a little quiet because i tend to lose myself and see Hi, Joyce. Saw you yesterday in Patty's. Yes, ma'am, I am good. I've been missing catching everybody's videos, but I've been so busy <clears throat> working on my goodies for everybody that I haven't spent much time um, watching videos. And if I do, I tend to watch art videos. Huh, I wonder what's happened. You know, it went black a couple of times. I think, hang on, I'm going to reload. It'll turn black and it'll be right back. It was kind of like it was not happy. Does my autofocus bother you? Okay, I'm going to reload. I'll be right back. All right, we'll see if this is better. Computers. I've got a loose... Um, <clears throat> USB 3 on my laptop and I may have joggled it a little bit that may have been causing it so anyway I'm here now and I'm a little bit ahead of the game I've got some things out I want to do I haven't been in here in a week that's awful I've been doing computer stuff, and I tend to do it in the living room. <clears throat> and laptop can go in there, so I can work from there. And I usually have a baby or two in my lap. And it's been 28 degrees, so it's kind of nice to snuggle. Yes, hello, lockers.
Let me get my YouTube on the phone. Okay. Yeah, we've got a few lurkers over there. That's the only way I can tell. And I left my prescription readers in the other room. Sometimes they help and sometimes they don't. So that's what I get for having RK surgery 25 years ago. But if we knew now what we did then was not going to be a great idea, we'd do stuff different. But I went 20 years without having to wear my minus 900 lenses that look like Coke bottles. So that was a good thing. Uh, Jersey, do you have any way to contact The others that are always in the chat room, like Nancy and Okay, I'll just wait a few minutes. <clears throat> Maybe I can reach them through direct message. Um, anyway, I'm going to be switching a few things around. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start. We've got a couple in. All right, these are the um, printables for January from Robin McClendon, and they are designed for <clears throat> as backgrounds more than the stars of the show, and perfect for putting calligraphy on top of, either using her stencils or... Um, using your own handwriting. 
got a script. And if you should want these brighter or change the uh, intensity or hue on them, you can do that in your filters on your <clears throat> photo programs. This one's pretty. Of course, you know I love blue. You should know because my eyes are the color of the ocean. Maybe not so much as they used to be, but they're scary blue. See, nice textured backgrounds. I think there are 26 this month. That one is really weird. It looks like the root of a plant or something. That's weird. I'll have to find out what that is. And here it is again. Fancy that. Whatever it is, it's cool. And this one's pretty colors. Quick background. Pretty colors. Not my colors, but it's a nice print. Alrighty. So, I decided that what I was going to do was pick a few of these that particularly called to me. It was one of the blues. Let me pull that one. Because my goal today is to show you um, things you can do with printables. And especially Robin's printables. I'm not finding... Okay. It may have been that one. See, I'm kind of going in a color, aren't I? Funny, just let yourself wander. I think I'm going to use that one, or at least pull it out. And I need some dark, so I'm going to go with this one. Okay, I didn't get these put in my folder yet, so in the meantime, I bought a bulk of these from uh, the dollar store. I ordered them online and uh, got 48 of them, so I figured I might as well use them. All right, let me slide that under here, pull that out, and put these away. Organized. I know I've shown you guys these before, but we're going to do it again because you never know who's going to. I use a hairband from Dollar Tree to secure my fat books. I always forget to tell you guys that. Last time I used it, I put it up on my camera bracket and then forgot where it was. All right, stencil number one, and these are available from stencil1.com. And these are scripting stencils, and we are going to use them today. We've got a big one. Got a really big one. This is so cool. That's the way it goes. So two great big ones. One, this one I think was only available if you ordered the 
the very first week when they were on sale and you got this one free with, you know, like $50. It's one of Robin's famous circles. Here's another one of her symbols. And I think these are all taken from, oh, this is the same as the big one. It's just smaller. Another one. They're labeled on the bottom. That's what I'm looking for to see if I've got them right side up. And then there's a few smaller ones for a three by five card. These are repeats of some of the bigger ones. And then we have that one. And this one. So some really cool stuff. Y'all won't believe. Hi, Ann. Glad to see you here. I'm just getting ready to get to work. So if you have any questions, Joyce or I or somebody else will help. <laughs> then I'm going to tell y'all a funny story. I shouldn't, but when I said that about the which side is up on the stencil remind me of a joke randy tells about blondes and he can do that because i was a blonde i give him permission anyway uh the joke is green side up and that's what a guy's hollering to two blondes out in the yard putting sod on green side up so i had my green green side up moment last week because I ordered a green screen I have a curtain but it's not in a convenient place for a chair and I thought this might be more convenient and inexpensive so I got one that would fit behind my chair and you know those windshield protectors or the dashboard protectors that you twist and they go up into a circle that's what this is I want you to look at the size of it. I don't know why I thought seven by five feet was a good idea. This is the length of it. I couldn't even get it to touch the ceiling. Now, I don't have it on the floor. I have it uh, between my chair back and the... When that thing started unfolding, it was like... I, I, uh, I was almost being run out of the room. It took both of us to get it folded back up. But now I have one that is um, three by four, I think, and it has straps to fit on my chair. So that was my goofball thing for the day or for the week. And might be coming to us from Facebook. So anybody coming to us from Facebook, be sure and say hi. I'm broadcasting this from StreamYard, which sends the stream to YouTube and Facebook. Um, now, what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is show you some of the pages I've done recently. I'm not going to bore you with all of them. I think this was um, December's. Something feels sticky. Um, December's printables. Coffee filter. This is great practice because you don't have anything invested in it. It's a an under ten dollar. Uh, Dale Rowney book from Walmart and the paper in it is really really good for that price making little tags this is how I use my paint boogers that come off the bottle tops it's got the little hole in the middle 
I use it for a tag hole protector or whatever you call those things. It slips in its own pocket. Anyway, that's what we got going on there. Now, I'm going to punch some of these a bit with some glazing. And I'm going to use... <clears throat> This is Martha Stewart Florentine Gold. It doesn't take much at all. All I want to do is glaze. I don't even care if it's all over. I'm just going to just going to get some shimmer on this. This is a quick trip trick to make a printable look like you did it. So basically all we're doing here is using the printable as a base to keep working and putting layers on. So there is a layer. I'm going to do some, this is a well-loved color, quinacridone nickel azo gold, and it's a golden fluid. Golden's colors are great. Um, do we have a booger? We do. Look. Now pull that off, and while it's, Still fairly flexible because it's damp. You can flatten it and then lay it up to dry. And you've got a perfect uh, hole protector for your... I'm looking for a place to put it where it won't get lost. <laughs> put it right on top of that light. Okay, there we have it. I'm going to put just a couple of drops. I don't even care if I have it all over. Do the same thing. And I'm not crazy about the splotches here, so what I can do is just get some on my finger and kind of This is a transparent color. Okay, now we don't have the same shape anymore. All my shapes were almost the same. So, there's that. I think I need a few more colors of paint is what I think. Use Dragon Flash. This is the sheer um, color changing paint from Folk Art. Um, you can get it at Walmart, you can get it online. And this one is Dragon Flash. I've had it since the last big jelly printing sessions.
Again, very sheer. Ah, perfect. Kind of using the jelly plate as a stamp. Okay, I'm going to put that one aside and do another one. I'm going to start with this nickel azo. I couldn't stand to run out of this, so I have another bottle to back this one up. turned out kind of a teal. I'm going to grab I'm thinking over here. These two are a little bit different. I didn't use that before. I'm going to use some, um, this is the Black Flash. It's a beautiful color, but I'm going to use this blue. This is a folk art. Glitterific. All of these glitters these days are suspended in a clear acrylic base. I forgot you have to. When they dry, it looks like you've just used glitter. I'm not going to waste a whole lot of that, am I? I didn't get any out. Just a few little sparkles. Makes it look like you're in the mine in South Africa and they're fabulous little jewels waiting, waiting for you to kick up. These are so subtle, you hardly even know they're there. Can you even see them, can you? There's some. And these are bigger pieces. They're, they're assorted sizes. You've got some that look like they might have come off gold leaf. But I just think they're grand. We've got gold on that one. I'm going to leave it for now. If you practice Robin's um, jelly printing techniques, she'll go 10 or 12 layers before she ever thinks about putting on a, uh, an opaque color. And then she uses it sparingly. The reason for that is that she likes all the layers to show. So if you cover an area up, you've just ruined all your layer work. So there's a method to it. This is just a different color of the glitterific.
I had a dickens of a time getting the pastel dust off this cutting mat last week. I mean, you're supposed to use them, but I didn't want it being all grunged up. Okay, I think that's probably about all on that one. Go back in time to a little trick mixing the turquoise flash, aqua flash with the orange flash. Well loved bottles. And everybody was using these for a while. You couldn't even get them. So I found the best price online one time and ordered some stock. That's going to take. <clears throat> Good thing that's about empty. Try to clean those. All right, now to do this, just mix those two together. I need a bit more orange, and it'll make a real nice khaki color. I know I should not be tapping hard. A little bit of nickel also. See the mark where I made marks there. Show. Let's use Dragon Flash again. I'm going to be forced to clean my briar. Soak it in 
Murphy's oil soap. That was a big old blob there. That makes it look a little bit better. Now I might be able to see a little bit of Nicolas on. Using the pointy end of the roller to make some marks. Oh yeah. I'm going to be cutting these up or tearing them up to use. Let's put some more of that gold that we put on the first one. I'm not sure I would have thought about doing this, except that Robin turned us on to it. Um, all the links for the printables and the people on the team, me, um, Patty Tolly Parrish, and Rachel Bellamy Clark, all of their links are underneath. And we each do some things with um, the monthly printables. I've got a golden here and it is opaque or translucent maybe. They have three black marks and you can't see them. It's pretty much opaque. Oh, got another one. Now again, I'm going into opaque, so Shabby, shabby dabby do. I'm gonna put some aqua on by itself.
Okay, that one. We're calling done. Done. Okay, so we've got four. This one doesn't have just a whole lot. I think I'm going to put some turquoise on that one. See if I can get anything else off of this. A little. Just brighten it up a little bit. I'm not watching chat one bit. Nancy. If you need me, Joycey, send me some smoke signals. It's all about variation. Different sizes, different colors, different ways of putting it on. I'm getting a different mark with the dirty roller than I am when I use the plate. Okay. I'll just put that, I'm going to go ahead and roll that out because y'all know how I like grungy plates. Oh, you know, one color I pulled that I did not use, and I really need to use it up. It's like Grumbach or acrylic, and it's uh, iridescent orange. That's really a pretty color. It's... Uh, Iridescent. You can't even tell you put it on. Nice. We'll put some on all of them because they're going to be in the same collage. A little bit. Oh, crap! Oh, can't put that back in the tube either. that much. There. Thank you, Miss Muse. Had just the right amount. Those are nice looking. Okay, now put this out. Ta -da. All right, now I'm going to use a few stencils. I want this one with the Thank you. 
Thomas. Stress oxide. Let's see what happens. I um, I don't want it to show much at all. I'm looking for something to put it on with. Do, 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 do. One of the makeup sponges might work. Mm. No, not worth the effort. Black suit. Now this does not print as black. Look, that's perfect. Just some little hidden stuff. Isn't that neat? Can you see it? Can't really see it. Perfect. So I can go up here. So that big camera jammer out here. I love using the Ranger pads, the distress pads. Now, since this particular, this is the oxide. And it has both pigment and dye in it. And it will stay wet a little bit longer. Oh, look at that. Would you just look at that? Um, and then once they dry, they're kind of opaque. I mean, they kind of don't come up. All right. Thank you, boss. small one. Mm, didn't really get a whole lot. There are no rules. Just play. And I am a poster child for not knowing how to play. Get in too big a hurry. Let me check chat and see if you need me. I can't see it.
I'm going to save that big circle for. Here's a smaller version of the tornado. I don't clean my stencils unless I have modeling paste, texture paste, or something like that on them. And while these are new, I'm going to keep them in their sack separate. Didn't put any on that one, just as sure as I'm sitting here. I've got one in the floor. Like so it could be my new favorite. Those up. Put this up. Look how good I'm being. You can see what the rest of this studio looks like. Okie dokie. Yeah. To the book, to the book, to the book, book, book. Going to pull out some of South Aptor's ice. I know I used that there. Oh, that's not right. Two, three, I thought I had four. No, I guess not. I guess I don't. This is just to kind of kill the white.
I found a little bit of a credit card. Can I find it now? No. So I'm going to use a scraper. These are so delightfully sheer. Set after ice. And you can, they're made in France, but you can order them direct from Seth's site. And that's uh, okay. I'm missing one. Who took it? Must be out on my desk. All right. No biggie. So we're going to put Conocredone. This mostly will be covered up, but we're just mostly going to do that. I like this mark right in through there. Let's see what we can do. It won't tear that way, but... Zippity doo da. Darn, that one's empty too. Well, this is a cheapy, so I can fill it up real quick. Water brushes all over the place. I can't get this back on. Maybe that'll be enough. 
Okay. There we go. Went to screw on, that's why it didn't work. Remember that the um, you tear the paper that you want to keep away from you. Where did the water go? Then the white line. I'm not saying that right. If you tear one way, you get the white line. If you tear the other way, you get it on the other piece. That's about as good as that's going to get. There's two advantages to uh, getting a rough edge on your paper, either by tearing or using a ruler to cut it roughly. These edges tend to disappear more because the little fibers have more to attach to. So they tend to disappear a little better. And that's one of the things I've been told that people like. I don't know where I'm going. I'm playing. Look at that edge. You need a deckle edge ruler when you got this. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this fourth edge anyway. As long as you don't do something like that, it will stay within that watermark that you put on there. I forced it, and it went like that. I'm going to do this. I don't know why. I'm just going to do it. The acrylic is... Not cooperating. And now, remember I said repetition with variation? If I'm going to go with a rectangular type shape, I need to repeat it in other ways. So this one's a little shorter and a little wider. And that's what that means. Tear this edge right here. Acrylic doesn't like the water so much, but it will still work.
I turned it because this little blue, it's bigger than that blue. And I don't like that because... The only reason I did that is because well, it doesn't matter because the writing doesn't matter. Matchy, matchy. Is that from the same piece of paper? I don't think it is. That's weird. Looks like continuation. Okay, I can move with that. Move that up just a bit. All right, I'm putting it down. Randy borrowed a glue stick a while ago. That's not good. Never mind. That's where my big piece goes. I left this flap. The blue and the shorter one was on top. Nope. 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 So I'm going to put this one down first. Come on, baby, come on. Put this down. And now put this down. This is what I love. Of course, y'all know I do. When, when these pieces came from completely different pieces of paper, but they look, because of the way it's torn, they look like they're one piece. I like that. And I just put this one down and I wanted it. Well, it's going to go under. How about that? I mean, on top. Yeah, right there. That's something else I like to do is have pieces, one edge on top and one edge under. Mm. 
Can you use a credit card for this? All right. That's just so neat. Oh, I got to quit slapping myself on the back. Good baby white. Get some of that extra glue off. That usually does the trick. Clean up a little bit. Okay, now. What you gonna do now? First thing I'm gonna do is put some of these paints away. Now I'm just gonna work on those so the lids will screw off a little better. Use that one. Okay, that's better. Better, better. Now then, I have some modeling paste that I have not used, and the darn stuff dries up faster than I can use it. And I'm going to use this dark red one simply because it kind of resembles that. And I'm going to use Robin Stencil. I'm going to use Big Zero. Start with that one. That's a pretty good spot right there. It's kind of fallen in the thirds, the tic-tac-toe. And I need a palette. Oh, this will work. I got this little toy from Tonic when they were giving them away before Christmas. This is supposed to be a shiny modeling face. Ooh, nice. Nice and nice. -a. Okay, I'm going to spray some water in there before I close it up. And then I've got to clean this up. And I'm going to do it over here. I'm going to do it upside down. I didn't do a whole lot. 
and then I'm going to do it. Clean it with the baby wipe toward the center. That's good. Because this stuff will ruin a stencil. You're ruining it. Some people that have bigger studios will take theirs to the bathroom immediately. Um, I don't mean that. They'll have a bin, like a storage bin, and they can just drop their stencils in. Okay, that's good enough. And we got a starter on another page. That's good. Put that right there. And I do that every damn time I put something on. I mean, when I use modeling paste. Every time. Every time. We'll help that a little bit. Mike, <laughs> you got a job, Joycey. Now, just because we put that on there does not mean we cannot put another color on top if it was dry. Okay, we're going to wait for a minute because I have two other Bria Reese golds. I have a real light one, a really, really light. This one is gold, and this one is gold 6872. So they're not the same. But we're going to do something. And for that, I will need thinking. I think I'm going to use that same tool. I love silicone. I'm going to offset the gold. Maybe that bronzier one. Yeah, I think so. 
Oh, that stuff's thick. And I'm going to let some of the red show through. Better. I like that better. Okay, now leave that under there so you don't do the same thing again. Let's just come over here. Place that down. I didn't get much off of it that time. That's okay, too. Okay. Okay. Now I can come back over here. Nope, that's already dry. Let's spray this. I'm going to let it dry real good, and then I'm going to sand it. I was thinking about using nothing. I like the way that looks. I know, they're so sweet. Okay, leave that alone and let's get the smaller letters. I'm going to put it right over here. This is embossing ink. For those of you who don't know. And it should make this sticky long enough to put this on. Do, 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 do. Nothing spilled. Let me get a paint 
brush, a dry paint brush. Some of the areas are closed in, which I'm not surprised. I'm just making a few little openings. Yeah, that's better. Better, better. Clean the brush off good, put it back in its little container. And see what we got. very subtle that's what I like I like it a lot see if I can keep from sticking my finger in it I did scrape off a little bit of the red there, but I'm I'm okay with that. And I do think I'm done. Hour and a half, that's not too bad. See what's going on. Hey Barbara. I'm using uh, Robin McClendon's Janu uh, January printables and her stencils that just came out in December with Stencil One. And I used Seth Apter's Ice, one color. I used Golden's uh, Cornacridone Nicolazzo Gold. That's the orangey color. And this is Seth's... Um, embossing powders and I used Robin's stencils on the paper when I was trying to I wasn't trying to I was distressing it with new colors to make it look like it wasn't a printable I started with I didn't pay any attention to where that was going to end, but it's okay. And then when I op opened my page over here, it really kind of helped. I mean, you're not really trying to make them same, same, but it's not bad. 
Not bad, not bad. And we have paper left over for next week. Pieces of that. This one has purples in it. I don't know where that came from. Probably the... Hmm. Well, that's definitely blue. Maybe that's from the dry brush. I don't know, but it's pretty. We got, we got papers, papers, papers. Does anybody have anything else to say? Oh, um, let me see if I can quick find something, Joyce, that you'll get a kick out of. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, do you ever take pictures, the TV's going, and you find something in the light, the way the light shines? Ah. Anyway, I take pictures of TV screens just because of how the shadows fall. Okay, that wasn't it. I may not have it. May not. Hang with me. I guess I don't. When little boy. Gets ready to go outside. He squeaks his squeakers. Here's Minnie. As many years as I've used an iPhone, and I still get, can't get it to come up double size every time. I'm going to have a thread out of the thread. Nope, can't get it. Oh, well, I'll show you something later. Anybody got anything else? And I better open this up because you never know when Google's going to take the picture for the Not bad. I'll take it. All right. I think I'm going to kick off here. Miss Nancy this week. And Ollie, they must be busy. Okay, dokie. Love you all. Bye.